This video is on capacitive reactants and it's part four of a series. Here we're just going to go through a quick example of how to actually find the current uh, when you're using capacitive reactants. So here, let's try to work out this first one. Uh, we want to know what the current in this branch is, in this branch, and in that branch. So let's solve for the first one. So the current in branch one is going to be equal to the voltage divided by uh, the reactive capacitance of the first capacitor. Now for the second branch, this is just going to be the same thing again. So it's going to be the voltage divided by the reactive capacitance of the second one. And for the third branch, it's just going to be the voltage of the supply divided by the reactive capacitance of the third capacitor. And at this point, all you really need to do is just plug and chug the values. So let's plug them in. So here we have 10 volts AC divided by the, the reactance here, which is 1 ohm. So the current here, current 1, is going to be equal to 10 amps. The second one, I2, again, we're going to plug in the 10 volts AC, divide that by uh, the reactive impedance of the second capacitor, which is going to be 2 ohms. So here we're going to have for the second current is going to be equal to 5 amps. Now the third and last one, we're just going to do the same thing all over again. The 10 volts AC divided by uh, the reactive capacitance of the third capacitor, which is 5 ohms. So the, the, the current in the third branch is just going to be equal to 2 amps. And that's how you would solve that. It's, it's a pretty much the exact same thing as if they were uh, capacitor or uh, resistors. So that's how you do it when they're in parallel. So now let's try one where they're in series. Now in this problem, we have the capacitors in series, and we want to find out what this current is going through these two capacitors. So let's see. So before we could actually solve for this current, uh, one thing we could do is find out what the total impedance here is. So uh, if you recall, uh, here are the impedances. And these impedances, since uh, you add them just like regular resistors, we get the total impedance, the total imp um, or reactive uh, capacitance, I mean, is going to be equal to x1, or the reactance on the first capacitor, plus the reactance of the second capacitor. And then we just plug in the values. So the first one is 2 ohms, plus the second one, which is 3 ohms. So the total uh, capacitive reactance is going to be equal to 5 ohms. So now we can solve for this problem. So now we can find the total current is going to be equal to the voltage supply here, divided by the total reactance. And then we just plug in the value. So the first one is 10 volts AC divided by uh, the total reactive, reactive capacitance which is 5 ohms. And so we get the total current as being 2 amps. And that's how you would solve that. So uh, I hope these videos helped and I hope they made sense. Uh, if they didn't, I recommend you go back and check out the, the previous videos. Uh, so yeah, so good luck in your classes.